are the benefits here on EcryptNet? It's on the one hand side, we are going to have an internal platform, the ARMS platform, where we are going to be able to see all of our assets just buy it internally first, then moving it over to a sales channel. And then if we don't find any buyer, we might even be able to donate that to schools, universities, where as well, I would say social organizations can still make use of assets that are not used anymore in the industry. And last but not least, the common solution is still there just to scrap the equipment. Yeah, in a and with that last piece, when we say scrap the equipment, it's avoiding a landfill, taking that equipment and piecing out the parts so it can be reused in other processes and get certification that it wasn't just put into a landfill. And that's something that I think if you go through what you just laid out, Lutz, is, is exactly what our cascading model is. It's try to repurpose it internally, try to sell it on a retail basis so you guys get the highest return, potentially go to a wholesale and then scrap, which gives you multiple bites of the apple to keep that equipment out of a landfill and being reused, which you guys have been so good about adopting that model and thinking through how that can benefit the world, not just um, Bayer and EquipNet. So, you know, obviously a big thank you for recognizing that.